Hey everyone, my name is Lenny Williams. I'm here in Jasper, Alberta. Uh, I'm 25 today and you know I want to talk to you about uh, what makes you happy. And that's what life is really about, isn't it? What makes us happy. So I, I co-founded a tech company called Oglen Solutions in my third year of university and uh, I'm still doing that today. I'm a track athlete. I compete in the 100 meters outdoors, the 60 meters indoors, and um, over the course of my university career, I realized what really makes me happy. And um, I, I have an example from in, when I was in grade nine. I played grade nine football, and I, I thought I did all right. Um, but I I didn't pursue it past that, and I actually still regret it today and I'm sure I will for the rest of my life but I told myself I'm never gonna leave any stone unturned because even if you fail then then you know and you won't regret it right so uh, I got three main things that helped me become more happier in my life and more successful yes they're complimentary so the first one I got for you is don't leave any stone unturned. That's right. If you have something that you want to pursue and you're passionate about it, you need to give it a shot. Even though sometimes it may not feel like it's going to happen, that's when you got to push through because anybody that's become successful has never been able to just have it easy ride and smooth sailing the whole way. It's always taken extra work when the times are tough and that's the key. And for me, um, I know that I might fail at the things that I'm doing but I'd rather fail than not try at all. So um, you can't leave any stone unturned. And the second thing is, <laughs> and this one sounds like it's pretty straightforward but a lot of people really struggle with this is giving it a full effort that means 100 percent and when you're out of energy that's when you give an extra 20 so you got to be giving 120 percent and you'll never be successful if you're only doing enough to get by because there's people out there that want it more than you do they want it bad they want it really bad and if you're just you know going casually and and not taking things seriously and you don't want to commit to anything and you don't want to work hard um, especially for entrepreneurs people think that it's just easy work and we're always out doing um, stuff and you know touring the world and stuff like that but when it comes down to it we're spending 10 12 hours a day just grinding and working and that is the key. So not only do you want to not leave any stone unturned, you need to make sure that you're giving it a full effort. And then if you can reach your full potential, that's what will make you happy, knowing that you did the best that you could, rather than not knowing at all. Because not knowing is what will make it so you'll regret it later in life. And um, the third thing is that you need to do what you're passionate about. Because if you find something that you're passionate about and you enjoy doing, then it doesn't really feel like work and then you can do it 10 to 12 hours a day. Like there's some days that I am working and it's like, wow, it, the full day went by. You don't feel drained after because you're doing something that you enjoy. And that's not saying that we don't have to work hard, but you have to do something that you enjoy to some extent and it, nothing's ever gonna be perfect. And I think that's a problem as well is people are looking for perfection and oftentimes that'll lead us to um, being hard on ourselves and <laughs> that's also something that can lead to failure because if you wait for something to be perfect then you'll never get a shot to put it out there and get feedback and get feedback and and improve and then get more feedback and keep improving and that's what will make you successful um, so those are the three things that you know, that really helped me become happier 
and I'm enjoying the things that I'm doing. I get a chance to do the things that I'm passionate about. And these opportunities were not given to me by any stretch of imagination. I have to, oh, <laughs> waves from the boat going by almost tipped me here. <laughs> Jeepers. Um, you know, that's what, that's what make, made me happy is doing the things that I'm passionate about and creating opportunities. Nothing was handed to me and I don't expect anything to be handed to me because then if everything's handed to you, then what's, that's not going to make you happy. It, it makes you happy when you got, when you got to earn it and when you got to work hard for it. So <laughs> it's, you know, and, uh, that's 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 the key right there you you want to do something that like why would why would you even want to do something that's not challenging and what's the what's the fun in it right so number one don't leave any stone unturned number two put a full effort if you don't if you don't leave any stone unturned but you don't put in a full effort then there's no point because you're likely gonna fail. And I'm not saying failing is bad, but if you're gonna fail bad, put the hard work in so you can fail quickly so that you can either reevaluate or maybe realize that it's not something that's gonna work, but you'll only get to that point if you put in a full effort. And the third thing is do something that you're passionate about. So what I'm asking you to do today is go and think for five minutes, am I doing something that I'm passionate about? Did and I bet all of us have stuff that we regret that we didn't do, but just think about, is there anything in my life right now that I would regret doing if I don't pursue it fully? You don't wanna leave any what ifs. 